When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and uh, where you're from. Secretariat, New York. No, no, you're not. You're not. That secretariat, you, my friend, are quite clearly Bob Costas. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, look, you're on the show tonight, right? Yeah, I, I, all right, all right. Still, I guess. Yeah. Right, yeah. No, I mean, like, as a guest, a proper guest, we're going to be sitting up there, we're going to pretend to like each other, all the stuff that we do in Hollywood. Now, right. here's the thing. Yes, sir. No politics tonight. Oh, thank goodness. Good. <laughs> so, you agree, no politics? No politics at all. So, if I would say something that you would construe as being favorable to Republicans, you'd be fine with that? I would. <laughs> liberal bastard. <laughs> That's just the kind of reply I thought you'd make. Excuse me. What? I'm just a bastard. Ah. Oh, so you've just moved into sports no, now then? Okay. <laughs> no, not, I, not, well, I don't want to go and do that again, so I've already been the bastard. In I was the sports bastard, and now, now I'm just a bastard bastard. I didn't understand any of that. Jeff, you get any of that? Did, didn't catch a word. Yeah, see, that's the problem. You're, you're too smart for your own good. <laughs> How long have I got to disprove that? Well, we'll take a commercial break. We'll throw in a monologue of sorts. Yeah. Uh, and then a guest of sorts. Nah, you'll be fine. I think it's going to be great. You're going to be great. Are you going to wear that? <laughs> no. How about that for an answer? No, I'll, I'll change. <laughs> Bet you don't. Uh. Hey, uh, yeah. you haven't been doing television for a while. Uh, do you fancy uh, throwing to a commercial break? See if you still got it. I'll stand over there. You can have the horse. Oh, okay. All right, come on, come on, come on, over quickly. Quickly, there's no time. Quickly. No time. Uh, uh, over. Stand next to Keith and pretend you're a correspondent. By the way, you were terrific with the Belmont Stakes and stuff. All right. All right. <laughs> well done. All right. On behalf of Secretariat and the entire staff, we'll be right back. Well, I'll tell you why it's a great day, because the, the Oscars are over. People are here in LA are very happy, or perhaps they're upset. It's very hard to tell. There's a lot of a... Well, the Oscars are over. I'm delighted. Me too. Personally, I'm glad that Brave won for Best Animated Feature. Now I can say I've been in an Oscar-winning movie. Yeah! to do about two hours work. I didn't even have to wear pants. <laughs> Take that, Daniel Day-Lewis. You had to put on a hat, you loser. <laughs> anyway, with all the gossip and the fashion and the popularity contest, the Oscars, of course, is a little bit a little like high school. And just like high school, I wasn't there. <laughs> but I heard that a toilet overflowed in the Dolby Theatre bathroom, which must have been awful. Water flooding everywhere. People had to go into the lobby to snort their cocaine. Did you hear about it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was awful. It was awful? Were you there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what were you doing 
in there? Yeah, I wasn't supposed to say anything, damn it. <laughs> How come you got an invite? I didn't get an invite. I, because I'm, I'm cool, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what makes you cool. Go to the yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. No, I, that one doesn't count because I didn't put any oomph behind it. <laughs> I heard there was a very awkward moment backstage. Well, apparently, that, you know, the furry little bear for the movie Ted? It was being chased around by Richard Gere. And I'm like, why? Richard Gere. Chasing around What? What? What are you even doing? <laughs> Did you just shrug at me there? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> nice. Anyway, I didn't watch the Oscars. I was traveling. I, I have to admit, though, I did watch some of the red carpet stuff. Only about five or six hours. And I really, I really enjoyed looking at the gorgeous dresses and the handbags and the jewelry. And when I was done picking up my outfit, I turned on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? Damn. Anyway, you know who I feel bad for is the actresses on the red carpet because their clothes are judged by experts as they walk in at the building, which is not fair. Anne Hathaway got a lot of flack because her dress, uh, you know, and I quote, made her nipples pop. And I'm like, why is that a problem? Isn't that what dresses are supposed to do? If having nipples that pop is a crime, then lock me up. Lock me up at Lake Chichicaca. You know, people make a big deal about nipple slips, and I'm thinking, is there an equivalent for men? What about ball falls? <laughs> Guess who had a ball fall at the Oscars? Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Here's Johnny. That's what, he, that's what he calls one of his desks. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does he call the other one? What does he call the other one? Yeah. Uh, uh, the Shining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you do Jack Nicholson? You could probably do Jack Nicholson. No, Nick no, I, I, I have oh, come on, you probably Only in the 70s. Right, well, you could, well, come on, let's hear it. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I had sex with Jack Nicholson. Oh, you had sex with Jack <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, we all had sex with Jack sure, Nicholson. Yeah. Well, come on. Hey, how you doing there? <laughs> this is old Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Just not really saying things. I could try that. <laughs> One of my balls is called the shining. Seems, seems I had a gonad gaff. <laughs> you know what no one mentioned though is, uh, and it surprised me, is Ben Affleck's bad fashion. Now I'm not a fashion expert, but I question his his choice in footwear. Do we have a picture of Ben Affleck from last night? Look at that. Now zoom in on his feet. Look at that. That's right. Ben Affleck has got tiny little girl's feet. The hell, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to start a rumor about him because I'm jealous. You, you worked up, man? Come on, what are you talking about? I'm not worked up. He's just got tiny little girl's feet. I just call it as I see it, that's all. <laughs> you know, the male fashion at these events is very boring. Tuxedos make everyone look like penguins. Someone should get Morgan Freeman and narrate a documentary about that. Yeah. What would that sound like, Jeff? Here we see the penguins marching to the Oscars. <laughs> Kissing each other's asses for warmth. You know, the red carpet is it's covered like a sports event now. They should just go ahead and turn it into a full-on sporting event. Give the stars little obstacles, you know, while they're walking into the building, like Seacrest jumping or something like that. <laughs> Can the Hollywood starlet jump over Ryan Seacrest in a full-length gown and with heels? And, and whatever she's wearing. See what I did? <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Anyway, when it comes to Oscar fashions, I like the metallic dresses. You know, they're shiny and they're futuristic. It's the same reason I, uh, for the same reason I like um, silver dildos. <laughs> By the way, silver dildos is my favorite Christmas song. That's a oh, lovely yeah. song. Isn't it? Why don't you sing it? Sing it with me, Jeff. Silver, silver dildos, silver by, the, dildos. by the fire tonight. Soon it will be self-massage time. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know that I was, I was disappointed there wasn't a proper James Bond tribute to the Oscars because there were rumours that Sean Connery was going to be there, but apparently the Academy wouldn't meet his demands. And his demands were, you know, sex with every Best Supporting Actress nominee. <laughs> Come here, Anne Hathaway, I'll make your nipple spop. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, I, I, I'm done.
That's it, you're I'm up. done, I'm bailing, yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good, though, man. <laughs> no, no, it was weak. But uh, <laughs> I, I don't mean uh, I'm bailing, we're going to commercials. That's it, I'm done with this show. Oh, that's it, you're walking. Yeah, that's it, done. All right. Done. Hey, Jesus. shut up. <laughs> you don't even mean it. You're like, oh, guess what? We, he quit the night we were there. Yeah, and then and yeah, you get on the tweet with that. He, he can't believe it. He just quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sat there looking at me, judging me with your eyes, undressing me, looking at, looking at Johnny in The Shining. Yeah. Hell, do you think you are? You want to go to a commercial break then, yeah, and I'll reconsider my retirement. Yeah, yeah. All right then. And the silver dildo goes to The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. They just played there too. Wow, so peppy that, and upbeat. That was upbeat and peppy. It really made me happy to be here. <laughs> makes, you, makes you feel good. Makes you feel good inside. Yeah. I can hardly hear you. Your voice is going up and down. What I'm right like? here, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, but they, I couldn't hear you for a minute. I think I'm going deaf a little bit. What'd you say? Here. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, I'll tell you, it's time to take advice from a man who's retiring from this show because of you clappy bastards. It's tweet mail time. <laughs> Play the jingle. Sing with me, Jeff. Email to the uh, This is from Manny in East Lansing in Michigan. We were in oh, Michigan yeah. the weekend. Beautiful place. What a place. Well, I think it was beautiful. You can't tell it's under so much damn snow right now. No, we were at the beautiful Soaring Eagle Casino. We were resort. at the Soaring Eagle Casino this weekend. <laughs> That's how you know you've made it in show business. <laughs> If it's Oscar weekend and you're at the Soaring Eagle Casino in Wisconsin, uh, in Michigan, you're a big star. <laughs> Actually, I had a very nice time. Did you? Oh, it was that? beautiful. That was great, yeah. and the people were lovely. They were. Actually, they were very nice. Hard to tell they were covered in snow. There was actual snow in the audience. In the audience, there was snow in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like tonight. All right. Uh, <laughs> And Manny in East Lansing in Michigan said, Dear Craig and Jeff, what can be done to break the current stalemate in Washington between the Republicans and the Democrats? <laughs> think you, uh, think you get the wrong address there, buddy. Uh, Jeff, what can be done to the, the thing? Uh, w was that in English? I don't know, but I, something about blah, blah, something. I don't know. Did you, you get it? Yeah, no, I don't get it. <laughs> you know that horse does one thing. It shrugs. Yeah. Right, but we can't seem to get... Yeah, there, like there that. There it is, yeah. <laughs> This is from uh, Jeannie in Toledo, Ohio. It says, hi, Craig, Jeff, and uh, Secretariat. What's up? <laughs> uh, what was your favorite part of the Oscars last night? Uh, well, there were so many awesome parts of it. J Jeff, what was your favorite? When it was over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that bit, too. <laughs> This is from uh, Lawrence in Fargo, North Dakota. Oh, now, what a place that is. You, you ever been there? Oh, oh yeah. You've got a, have you got a place there? Couple places, yeah. Couple of places there. What, what part? What's your favorite part of the, Fargo? The uh, southeastern portion. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Dear Craig and Jeff, do you guys have a favorite football team or baseball team? <laughs> uh, Jeff? I think, think you got the wrong address. You got the wrong address, man. <laughs> 
This is from Robbie in Arlington in Washington. Says, Dear Craig, your Jeff and Secretary, I am a gay NASCAR fan. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm a gay NASCAR fan. I missed the Daytona 500 and the Oscars. What should I do? <laughs> Improve your game, mister. <laughs> How can you be a gay NASCAR fan and miss the, the Daytona 500 and the Oscars? It's like, what else have you got to do? Uh, well, we got uh, 13 seconds left and three of these. We have to go. What do we have to do? Quickly. There's quickly, no time. There's no time. Quickly, we have to go quickly. Down there. This is from Adria in Toronto in Canada. You ever been to Canada? Sure. Yeah. Beautiful. Love what? it there. Love it. Beautiful place. What part of Canada do you like best? The, the maple uh, river. Maple syrup? Oh, it's yeah. delicious. <laughs> uh, dear Craig, Je and Jeff, and sup, Secretary. Sup. <laughs> Today is my 35th birthday. What did you do in your 35th birthday? Oh, well, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, caramba. Uh, What's up? Come and I go. Uh, this is, uh... <laughs> One must always remain charming. <laughs> this is from Lisa in Denver, Colorado. You like it there, Oh, don't you? yeah, love it there. What, what part of it do you like best? The, the, the middle part's really nice. Middle part of Denver? Oh, yeah. What, what part's the middle part of Denver? That's the, the peaky part. <laughs> Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, are you milk chocolate or dark chocolate kind of guys? <laughs> Think you got the wrong show, uh, Jeff. Oh, I love me some dark chocolate. Yeah, you know you do. <laughs> you know you do. <laughs> yeah, Jeff and I go on the road, he goes out looking for dark chocolate every damn night after That's the show, true. don't you? I go trolling for chocolate. Trolling That's for true. dark chocolate every night. <laughs> <laughs> This is from uh, Zane in uh, Riga in Latvia. What the hell? Latvia? The hell? Wow. I, are we friends with Latvia? <laughs> uh, I am prepared to take the risk. <laughs> hey, you get the wrong show. L let, me check, let me check into the Latvian U.S. relations before I read out your could be an international incident tweet. <laughs> I feel bad now, but I'm not walking all the way around there to get it and pick it up. Yeah, uh, you know, in doing... Yeah, do, do, Jeff, do me a favor. You, you go over and pick it up, will you? Yeah, come on, just this one time. Just go over there and pick up the, uh, the Tweety for me. How dare you. How dare you. <laughs> it doesn't seem to slow you down when you go out at night trolling for dark chocolate. Why do you talk to me like that? Why do you go out trolling for dark chocolate when you've got Scottish sausage at home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make a good point. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, let, before we go to our commercial break, let's have a quiet moment. Let's collect ourselves a little bit. broadcast journalist and political commentator, although tonight he will not be talking about politics, correct? Yep. Right. <laughs> he also writes a blog, Baseball Nerd, because he is Keith Oberman, everybody. Keith Oberman. The fact that you changed from what you were wearing earlier, which was also nice. Yeah, well, uh, I, I like uh, I like bright orange or something. I don't know. I'm, I, I won't get hit by cars crossing the streets here. There's very few cars pass through this studio in the, in the course of a show. 
You were here when, when Sajak did the show. They used to do that all the time. This is Pat Sajak's old studio. I'm surprised. Did, were you ever on the Pat Sajak show? Twice. Really? I am the survivor of the Pat Sajak Wait a minute. The, this studio was built for the Pat Sajak late night special or whatever it was. <laughs> and you were on it twice? How twice. many shows did they make? Three. <laughs> do you ever fancy that, doing a late night show? I mean, you could do it. I interviewed for it when they decided to get rid of him. Really? I interviewed in some office in this complex here at Television City. Well, let's recreate that. I'm CBS. No, I'll be you and you'll be CBS because you remember it. Right. Right. And All right. It's Rod uh, somebody. Who right. Was okay. So you're Rod that. and I'm you. Right. <coughs> <coughs> All right then. Yeah. What's going on here? Why have I been called into this office? I'm practicing my Scottish accent. Right. <laughs> who are you and did you bring me any alcohol? Really? That was it? No, no, well, it was, there was a lot of, why do you think you would be somebody we'd want to consider oh, for this? God, I said, because I'm the sports awesome. director of the CBS television station here in Los Angeles. You were? I was. And I said, look at the last guy you hired. And I think that was when I lost the possibility. No, come on. See, Sajak is, Sajak's good. He's just, it wasn't his genre. Exactly. But he, he's, I mean, he's perfect exactly. in the, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, that's right, that's it. Let's see, let's see. Have you got some move? Keith, can I just say, I've never noticed this about you. You have very hairy knuckles. I've just, I mean, it caught my attention. I'm like, wow. I'm like, that's well, a. I wore this fleece here so you wouldn't, I can avoid questions about this and how. Is, has anyone ever mentioned this before? Are you in any way sensitive about it? Because I probably should have checked. No, no. No, and I won't tell you how I got the hairy knuckles either, so. Well, you, yeah. you get hairy knuckles? You really, I mean, are you, are you a very astute gentleman below the neckline? Are you? Do I you, am. Do you, do you shave? Do you manscape in any way? <laughs> This is I'll have still to check. A, yeah, right yes. yeah, is this the interview, by the way? Still yeah, yeah, we're still doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is realistic because that's that's a, that's what they wound up with. Uh, Who did they get in the end? Well, they actually canceled it and put on some Canadian uh, TV. They drama had kids show. in the hall. That was no, no, well, that was later. This right. was something called I don't even remember what it was called. Crime time after prime time. Crime time after prime time. I'm in for a bit of that. Right, That'd be right. awesome. And then it was then it was Tom Snyder. I was on his show. Oh uh, yeah, time. Tom was great. Then it was. He was fine. He was fine. You never shared a, an office with him. No, I never did. I, he was my desk mate at. at ESPN. You guys had to Craig share Gilmore. a desk? Yeah, and a computer. Well, did you, like, cuddle up and just kind of sit close to each other? What did you think of the game? Oh, I hated it. Mm. Yes. Exactly. And we, and he would have to, we'd, he'd have to wait till I was finished writing the 11 o'clock sports center before he could use the computer at our desk. Are you still, are you still as mad about sports as you were back then? Are you still crazy? I mean, you were a huge, you were a huge Yankees fan, but you're mad at the Yankees now, right? Yeah, well, I, I, I got off that sinking ship as quickly as all I All right, all right, all right. So where are you going to go? The Mets? I got, that, that, that can't be right. I'm a baseball fan, Craig. I know. No, I, I, I have actually, uh, I have a couple of teams that I, that I root for, but it's, it, yeah, being so close to the game, they became, you know, friends, people that I knew, and I've, a woman I went to college with married a guy who owns the Tampa Bay Rays. Total unplanned kind of thing. So, so I'm sort Tampa of a Tampa Bay, Bay Rays, Tampa yeah, Bay Rays. Rays fan now. Yeah, it sounds to me like you're yeah. in the middle of an argument with somebody, actually. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like things ain't resolved. You know what? You need therapy. I'm your therapist, right? I'll be your therapist, and you be you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 that's what you A need. job interview and therapy in one night. What did I come out here for? Yeah, that... These are the things I've been able to avoid for the last no, year. Oh, you need therapy, me. clearly. This is what you need, therapy. Keith, do you find yourself to be an extremely confrontational man? <laughs> do you find yourself relaxing within confrontation? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually of German heritage, and that's not as good a German accent as you might think it is. I... You bastards, you drew me into confrontation. How very clever. Could, could you... <laughs> that's extraordinary. The voice that you should use, forgive me for telling you your act, but the voice that you should use is the voice of the British announcer who talks like this. Oh. The Alan Wicker voice. Well, no, that's, that's the oh, older yes, British yes. television announcers who start talking like this and end the sentences yeah, like, like this. That. All right, Keith, uh, when you find yourself in a confrontation, do you find yourself relaxing? I find it. <laughs> Dr. Ferguson, it's much easier for me to relax by changing my voice in this way. <laughs> Jeff, sometimes I think Keith is just here to mock me. What do you think? All guests of our show, when they leave, receive a silver dildo. <laughs> True.
I've got one at home already. No. <laughs> oh, well, then. Yeah, you know, you can never have too many, though. That's right. <laughs> they make lovely... Um, Mantelpiece. Uh, yeah, things. salt and pepper things. Things to hang uh, around. Hang around the house. You hang dildos around your house? Because I'm telling you, the blogs is going to go crazy tomorrow when you admit to that. Like the blogs can write anything worse than they've written yeah. about me for the last 30 years. You do take a lot of flag, but then yeah. you do invite it. I mean, you go after yes. these people. You, you, you know, you, you, you're aggressive with people on the Tweety, and they're, they're aggressive back to yeah. you. Yeah. I think you enjoy it. <sighs> yeah, actually, you're right, Doctor. I, I do. See, I knew we'd get to, to this point. That's why I'm going to make you very uncomfortable by having a very nice time with you. <laughs> That's actually quite nice, that thing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. We have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. We'll keep it over. Everybody. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Keith Overman, who's wearing an orange uh, top. Uh, whoa! And I think he's just come out. It's nuts. This is for when I do my Judy Garland impression. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah, this is is this, that yours? This reflects your body heat or something. Or oh, right. Re reflects you, you, you seem to have lost heat. a lot of weight recently. Have I, you been doing a lot of exercise? Uh, well, I've been able to do more of it in the last year with all the spare time. And principally, <laughs> the loss of stress from not having a daily television show has done wonders for everything. I, I have to tell you, I have a daily television show and I don't find it stressful in the least. <laughs> I actually yeah. don't. Yeah? Well, the commercial breaks sometimes go on a bit, but other than that, it's fine. What do you, I mean, if they didn't, but if you could not swear your head off here. If, I can't, I can't. They, they cut it all out. out. They get very angry. People get really upset. They're like, look, this is your last warning. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> if I could have been in, had that arrangement, I would have lasted on one job for 30 years. If they yeah. just were able to bleep me when I wanted to swear. Well, you, you went on TV live. Which, of course, I am, too, but... Right, right. But that, that one-and-a-half-second delay and, right. uh, is, the, is the, yeah, it's the, in your region, is the thing. Right, exactly. Right. No, but I, I think doing live television, I think that must, that's absurd. Yes. That you can say anything you like, then. They would be mad to let you do that. Especially with the sign-off, the one that I stole from Edward R. Murrow, which is which very famous, yeah, yeah. one of the name of the movie, and you could just, you slip that slightly, and all of a sudden you have good night and good... Uh-oh. Ah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Michael's a friend of mine. I just wanted to deposit that on his shelf for after the thing. Yeah. Well, there we are then. We're out of time. Do you want to throw frisbees at the horse? I think that's uh, a little bit. Uh, oh, oh, we got new frisbees though. We got new frisbees. Look, look, the late late show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got late, the late late show written on them. We had these like at my college radio station. Yeah, yeah well, there you go. This is promotion. kind of like college yeah. radio except not with a big exactly, budget. Exactly. Absolutely. On. Let's do We're from where? Keith Oberman, everybody. Keith Oberman. Welcome back, everybody. My next guest, much like Keith Overman, is a supermodel. <laughs> mm. ah. She stars on The Face, which airs Tuesdays on Oxygen. Take a look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Coco Rocha, everybody. Coco Rocha. Nice. Thanks. What a lovely dress. Thank you. I'm That's got little squiggly bits on it. Y yeah, you're about dresses today, aren't you? I'm about dresses all the time when all they're filled the up with ladies. Ladies. Yeah. 
on their own, they leave me completely cold. I'm not really a fashion maven no. until they're filled up with ladies in the dresses. Then I'm like, I like this dress. Yes. <laughs> I agree. It makes sense. You're uh, clearly fashion forward. That's uh, what you say, right? Sure, yeah. The shoes, I, we'll check the shoes. Thank Very you. nice. Yeah, do you want to know what's under the shoe? Talk about hairy knuckles. <laughs> Early. Have you got hairy knuckles? No, I just lost a toenail. A full toenail, thanks to these shoes. I thought I could at least up him one, right? You lost a toenail? I lost a toenail. Where? where? Uh, did it go? On well, I guess toe. if you knew where it was. It, but I, were you running or just wearing those toes? I was wearing, the, wearing these toes. Yeah. These questions are confusing. I'm confused. I was wearing, I was wearing these shoes in IHOP today, actually. No joke. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Like I was you in go to I went to IHOP with all my This is a nice coach, okay? My team is here in LA right now, all the girls, including Margaret, the one that fell. Oh. Dear. Um, went to IHOP today and lost a toenail. May I ask what you were doing in IHOP? Because clearly it wasn't. Clearly eating. No. Actually, yes, we were. Those were really? Did you have the rooty tooty fresh and fruity? No, I had <laughs> the pancake combo you can choose your pancakes I like that yeah I'm very you know what the, the thing is though I started uh, I went to IHOP a lot and then they started putting the calories next to you don't yeah I'm that. like I'm not good with math so I don't really know what that you all don't is. need to be good at math you just look at how many numbers are there you're like ah. true I just don't. Now, the, the, in the show, the girls have to uh, they, uh, fight each other to win the... The, the death? Yeah. The, yeah the, no. uh, remind me again what Again, it is. it's uh, a modeling competition. Uh, right. Between, uh, uh, we have 12 contestants, but it's in fact between also the coaches. Naomi Campbell. Heard of her. Yep. Carolina Kokova. Oh, yes. And this nerd, Coco Rocha. Right. Um, and what we do is we're teaching the girls um, what we think is the best way of modeling. So my ways aren't the same as Naomi's, nor is it the same as Carolina's. So it's kind of interesting in that way. What scope of style or, or change of style is required in modeling? For example, if like you walk up and down a runway, yes. is, it can be very different from the way someone else does Clearly it? Clearly, I teach them to fall. So no, <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, Naomi, she's known for her walk. That is her thing. So, I mean, to go up against her and teach my girls against Naomi, I mean, I mean... I Has there ever been a walk-off at any point uh, where you guys, like, you know... That is, uh, that's one thing I would love to do one day. Is just yeah, a walk-off, like a dance-off or, yes. yeah, or I a heard, knife fight. I heard you're a good dancer. I'm a, reason, I'm a reasonable dancer. I'm I a pretty good, are you a good dancer? I used to do Irish dancing for 12 years. I Irish dancing, <laughs> really? Yes. You're one of the Celtic women? I am. <laughs> I knew you'd love that. I heard you did a uh, contemporary. I did. I did when I was younger. I did uh, contemporary dance. Yeah. A lot of weird. It was really just to have sex with lots of people. Okay. I was. Uh, <laughs> Why would you choose that? I'd feel like rugby or like. Well, rugby's soccer. a different sort of people that you would have sex okay. with. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> I. I listen. Hey, I'm not judging. Like well, whatever works. But uh, I, all I'm saying is, in contemporary dance, there were more of the type of people that. That you like. Well, they were, yeah, kind of. A little, yeah. a little fancy. Well, the f fancy in the sense that they were, you know, a, a, yeah. the opposite gender, which is kind of the way I roll, okay. you know what I mean? Really? In yeah, it's my thing, okay. yeah, yeah, it's my thing. What about you? Are you a lesbian? Uh, no, I'm married. Ah. Uh. Like lesbian roll went... <laughs> A, you know, it's just a weird. thing. It's, it's something I ask everyone. I forgot to ask Keith Oberman, but sometimes I do. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad you got so where that. do you make the show? Did you make it in New York? We did make it in New York, oh. the fashion capital. It is, Zero. I know. Yeah. Do you watch Project Runway? I have a bit, yeah. yeah Zach, yeah. well, a good friend of mine, the one that made my wedding dress, Zach Posen, is the, one of the new judges on it. Oh, yes, because uh, Michael Kors isn't doing He's it this not year. not there anymore, no. Oh, that's a shame. I quite like him. I like when he goes like this. <laughs> You, I think. No, he does that. He does that when, like Heidi says, I think we've all made up our decisions, haven't we? And then he goes. It's a good face. Yeah. I think well, he'd trademark it. He should trademark he it. He trademarks everything else. He's got. A, you can make a lot of money in fashion, you know. Yes. Are uh, you very wealthy? I don't know. This is. <laughs> That's well. probably a sign that you are you know, extremely no, no wealthy. No model right? actually asks that to a fellow model. It's kind of like this unspoken rule. But I'm not a model. You're a model. Yeah. I know you're a model. I'm not a model. No. No, this is the real <laughs> thing. Yeah. That's all I get. Yeah. Um. Do, are models supportive of each other in the world, or are they, is, or is it as bitchy as people want to believe it is? 
I feel like it's both. I mean, the wannabe models, yeah. I feel like these girls that are trying to like become famous and it doesn't matter what they do, yeah. Some girls that are kind of like me along for the ride, and this is just have fun with it. Yeah, you don't need to have that attitude. I mean, you'll see in the show, some girls are there and they want to be famous. They want to be TV stars. And some girls actually just want to learn. My girls on my team want to learn. I see. Yes. All right. And uh, it's Oxygen, isn't it? It's Oxygen. Is that, oh, that's Oprah's channel, isn't it? It was It was. Believe, she sold right? it. Yeah, yeah, I think she did. And now it's a different channel she owns. What is it? Uh, NBC? Oh, yeah. She oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. I actually was thinking Jeff could be part of our... Uh, Team, since so he's got the bone structure, so that would be I, real nice. I think, Maybe. I think he's a little overweight for your guys. I, uh, oh. How dare you? What do you think, Jeff? Oh, I'm in, girlfriend. Oh. Well, we're out of time. You want to throw frisbees at the horse? Fancy an awkward I pause? I would or, throw uh, frisbees at other models. Are they here? They're here. Where are they? They're back there, waiting to be thrown frisbees at. I guess. Are they really? No, I don't. Terribly know. set up. <laughs> Is that true? It's not true, but we could take a commercial break and then come back and throw frisbees. No, we can. No, we because can't. what if we hit them? Uh, then they would get hurt. But see, mine are smart. They can pose and catch at the same time. Oh, we'll give it a shot then. All right, when we come back, we'll be throwing frisbees at top bottom. Myself, Keith Oberman, and Coco Rocha are now about to do something very dangerous that you won't see anywhere else on television. We're about to throw frisbees at models who are not fully trained. <laughs> Is that right, Coco? They're not full-on models yet. No. no when they're they're, yes, they're almost not... models. Sorry, hold on. There you are. They'll graduate when they do this. They'll graduate when they do this. Now, there Keith, please remember and throw your frisbee gently. <laughs> not with the usual enthusiasm and wild abandon that you throw things at women normally. And, and Yes. Lady pregnant. Oh, right. you're pregnant, right, right. right? Well, very gently. <laughs> Should you really be doing this? Do you want a okay. chair? Oh, Let's you... get you a chair. Margaret, like, get over here. Yeah, you can be throwing. You can be throwing. That's probably better. And now yeah. I feel like we're like. Now. Yeah. So this is replacing wrestling in the Olympics? Yeah. Right. This, this is what this is what's replacing wrestling in the Olympics. Ready. Are you ready? We need some music. All right.